Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblock and today we are gonna be making ourselves the day and night crystals and the experience artifact as well. Yeah, dude, I have enough and uh, wow, we got a bunch of blazes here, which uh, yeah, I don't know. I might be going for like the blaze armor or whatever, but I'm also using it so that I can get enough like blaze powder in order for me to make more uh, end stone swords because oof, it's pretty good, dude. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but now I got all these guys here as well, the quartz minions. These guys help me out get a little bit more like enchanted uh enchanted quartz so that i can test out and see if we can actually like stack up the day and night crystals but i don't know and we also have ghast over there which uh i just have them there just for the collection you know and uh, i kind of want to test out the like silver thing later on in the future even though it's gonna be trash but hey man budget you know all right so let's make ourselves a day and night crystal shall we we just need like five stacks of enchanted quartz in order to make the two blocks and then we just need a little bit <laughs> of this but i'm gonna get everything right here i don't know i don't think it's gonna be like like able to stack up you know but we'll see dude we'll see so okay we're gonna be making the uh, i don't know which one this is this is the night or day crystal this one's the night crystal so this is how you make the night crystal so there we go we got the night crystal which gives us more strength and defense five more during the night and then we're gonna be making the day crystal which will give us strength and defense in the morning during the day you know and legit has it in the name so yeah right now it's 2 20 a.m i mean it should be at nighttime but i have this uh little solar panel here so i have it on mid midday whatever let's see let's take a look at our character so we're at 105 strength and then more defense right so we're at 618 yeah before we were at 613 defense if i were to drop the day crystal yeah okay so the day crystal is working so we might as well test that and see if the day crystal works hold on before i make myself another one dude i want to make sure <laughs> how much this costs just in case you know so we're gonna need much like two stacks and a half right yeah i think two stacks and a half so these ones can stay down here and okay, see how much two stacks sell for so 40k for these two enchanted quartz and then 20 thousand but that's eighty thousand all well, these ones are basically like forty one thousand but eighty thousand one hundred thousand so around like one hundred two thousand i guess or one hundred one thousand so much it is so yeah keep that in mind because uh just in case you know <laughs> that uh, this doesn't work and then we're also going to be selling two all right let's see if we're going to be selling two let's do this each one costs 640 okay 1280 all right so 1280 that's like one hundred thousand no, 103,000. Eh, whatever. Around there. Alright, so I'm just gonna be making another day crystal. I don't think this will stack up, to be honest. So our 618. Right now it's nighttime, so night crystal's working. But if we go back to our island, 618 again. Yeah, it looks like only one of the crystals work, so you can't really stack it up. If I drop all those, pick them back up. 618 yeah i'm still at 618 like uh defense so yeah well there you guys go you can't stack this stuff up <laughs> which sucks but eh, i mean it's good because then that'll be too op man yeah i guess i, I can either sell this or I don't know, i'm gonna keep it for now i'll just put it in here in my chest where my other crystals are at well not crystals but my talismans are at now the real question is can we actually like put it in our talisman bag i mean i would assume that we could but before we do that let's make ourselves the enchant artifact whatever it's called i forgot what it was experience Experience artifact, that's what it is. Increase the enchanting experience you gain by 25% while this item is in your inventory. All right. So it says inventory, dude. Let's see if we can put it in our talisman bag. See, what are we going to be replacing? The skeleton talisman reduces the damage. I don't know. Which one should we replace, dude? Scavenger? Which one is this? I don't know. I'm keeping scavenger, dude. That gives me more money when I like attack mobs and all that. The speeds I'm keeping. The talisman of coins. I mean, I don't really need this. So. Okay, let's see if we can put this in here. All right. We can put the day crystal and night crystal inside our talisman bag. So that's pretty good. And the uncommons I'm keeping in here, dude. I'm just going to be removing like the commons. I mean, the vaccine provides immunity to poison i mean i don't really need that right now at this moment since uh i don't think there's no mob that can poison you right now i don't think so but yeah unless you're pvping then people that use like venomous on their sword then yeah you're gonna be needing the vaccine talisman but as of right now i'm not really pvping <laughs> at all so i don't really need it so i'm just gonna put my day and night crystal in there then let's see and put our experience artifact in here and we can all right dude that's pretty good all right i don't know what i'm gonna be replacing that for though i'm gonna be switching my speed talisman all the way up here i need to upgrade my sea creature talisman and the uh, healing talisman i just need to get more like uh collections for it in order to upgrade that so i'm keeping those there because that's pretty good skeleton which one is more worse uh, i think i'm just gonna get rid of the zombies i don't know it's not really that much zombies i guess you could say but 
Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna be switching these around. All right, actually, I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so we got two epics. We got one, two, three, three rares, and then we got some commons. I mean, uncommons. We got two, four, six, seven uncommons, and then the full top row is common. So nine common, five rares, and then seven uncommons. All right, all of these are itchy. Well, I need to <laughs> change the crystals and the experience artifact, but yeah all right time to put these other talismans in here so i guess it's uh time to get some itchy on these guys because uh, you basically need itchy i mean i don't know i want to get itchy for rares and epics uncommons and common i mean maybe when i get like i don't know up to seven or nine more like rare or epics if i can then i'll change like all these into something else so i can get more crit chance instead i'll do that later on and i need to get myself some coins bro i mean i don't know which one like which uh enchant you want or like some of these things i'm afraid he's getting like more crit chance i would say unpleasant but i feel like there's different ones as well that i'm not sure about like well here's hurtful <laughs> i mean eh, not really that good but i guess i'm just gonna go for itchy on all these other artifacts that i got and oh look at ominous oh yeah i forgot about this one except it just gives you more health defense and intelligence not really crit chance so this is unpleasant on uh epic rarity it gives you six percent crit chance and then three crit damage and three intelligence so yeah that's pretty good and whoa shiny dang all right that's a uh, cool but uh, not what I want though. It's shiny though. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, sort of. It gives you speed, so not bad. And this is pleasant. Yeah, unpleasant is definitely <laughs> better for damage wise, I guess, and crit chance wise. All right, we got itchy, which gives us a lot of crit damage, some attack speed, and some strength as well. That's pretty good. We got shiny on a rare, so this is how it looks like. Yep, <laughs> not really that good. And then we got itchy, so it gives us eight crit damage and then like two strength, right? Yeah, and then some attack speed as well. This is zealous, gives us two of everything, sort of. I say pure. I don't know, can you get pure on a crystal on your like talismans? I would assume you can, but I'm not sure. So unpleasant or rare would be 3% crit chance, 2% crit damage, all right? I think can also get godly on these things as well. Which, uh, I, I don't know if it'll be good or not on uh, like commons and uncommons. You know, uncommons maybe, but commons, I think it's just all gonna be 1%. So let's put these guys away, all right? We got two, three, four, five, all right. I mean, I guess i could change these guys into something else size itchy so i can get some more crit chance yes for now I'll just keep it as is except for these two i'm gonna keep them right now and these guys i guess i can change these sevens to something else the neon commons yeah i don't know some of these uncommons can still upgrade to rares like this affinity ring and then the feather ring can upgrade as well pretty sure that's it though yeah i need the affinity feather the sea creature and the healing i can upgrade all the way up to rares and then that's pretty much it and these other uncommons and commons i can change i can also change my piggy bank but uh eh, i guess i'll keep it as itchy for now yeah we did upgrade it a little bit to get some more like extra damage uh, i guess we can go and test it out and see how much it does i forgot i totally forgot how much we did with the regular set on over here at the end against the enderman you know i guess we can test it out. i think we did like 15k right yeah 15,100. Yeah, nothing's really changed unless we did 14,000 before. We do up to 15,200, so a little bit, depending on how much health they have because of my giant killer, you know. It goes up sometimes, like these guys, 4,500, it does up to that much. And then obviously, with people that are low, I mean, the mobs that are low, execute's gonna proc, but I think I had more health than that guy, so I didn't really proc the giant killer. So let's see, I remember the ender, like chest plate, whatever, not the ender chest, but the ender armor it does like 19,000. So we do up to 20,000 now with our upgrade talisman so with 21,000 20,000 21,000 it's like up to 20 to 22,000 basically uh, yeah I went up with the these talismans that I got the extra rare and epic I guess I could go for more crit chance now yeah I mean not too bad the inner crit damage is a uh, 213% now and if I were to take off this armor put my other armor back on doesn't really give us anything where I was 165% crit damage so that is a lot dude that's pretty good I don't know why so yeah we went up like a thousand extra damage like crit damage wise uh, on our ender set the regular sets we uh, maybe we went up a thousand i'm pretty sure we did fifteen thousand even before we upgraded our talisman to have more crit damage yeah, i don't really remember it was around fourteen thousand to fifteen thousand how much we did against these guys I mean, it works out dude it works out yeah again these blazes i have them set up because uh trying to get some more blaze powder so i can turn the enchanted ender pearls into like the eye of ender enchanted whatever so that i can sell some more 
aspect of the end swords because uh yeah i mean they're pretty good dude not a lot of people have them they still purchase them for a high price <laughs> uh, i'm getting some money out of that and honestly we have some gas up there we have like four of them set up right now uh, i mean i already got the collection for the silver thing but i guess i'm just gonna try and finish off the rest of the collection just in case they do like release gas armor or something later on in the future but uh, i mean i'm just gonna be keeping these guys in i mean they make some good money i guess like a stack of uh regular what you might call it regular gas tiers they sell up to 1280 coins so 1280 and uh i mean it's all right i guess but they are pretty slow and all that but i don't know uh, you could make a lot of bank if you have like <laughs> every single like minions stacked up in there like 19 minions that's how much i can place right now then yeah maybe we'll be making a bunch of money if i just go in there and just slay them all which is uh gonna be a little bit annoying because they're just gonna be throwing their like gas balls or whatever the fireballs that they have all right so we get some extra oh yeah i forgot dude what am i talking about of course they're gonna do more damage because of our strength you know wait we're at 109. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the freaking uh, talismans that we got. It's us extra strength, too. But that's why we're doing a little bit more damage as well. And because of our crystals, it gives us five extra stuff. So, yeah. Now we're at 618 defense. Having both the day and night crystals is good for, like, extra damage, I guess, and defense. Yeah. Next uh, episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to be making ourselves the silver thing. Just, like, test that out and see. Like, fully enchanted. We know it's only, like, 100 damage only. Uh, but, yeah. Obviously, if we were to put on the crit chant, the critical or whatever then it'll be 100 damage and 50 percent crit damage but i kind of want to test this uh, thing out on the itchy experience artifact so um, increases the enchanting experience you gain by 25 percent so i'm guessing this is like your skills where you go into your enchanting I, mean, I don't remember how much i gained <laughs> from enchanting like this so 108,357. i guess i could do level one and compare so yeah we can do that let's do that real quick let me get myself a book and then do like a level one enchant see how much experience we get from that 357 just remember those numbers so we go in here do it I did a level two. Ah, oh, my bad. All right, well, all right. So a level two. <laughs> See how much? So 366. I went up almost 10 XP, but not really. All right, so 366 with the regular, without the thing. I forgot where I put this without the experience artifact. So let's test out with the experience artifact. We need to test it out with a level two book now again, so that we can get the right amount. So we we're at 366, right? Yeah, 366.9. All right, we get a level two right here. There we go. And then let's check it out. So skills and then. And 366 we went uh, like 10 extra except for like we're missing like 0.1 basically so yeah 10 extra i guess you know it's not that bad so the, yeah the experience artifact does work unless it also depends on the enchant like i got prompt one then there's power one yeah i guess it does work dude it's not that bad yeah i think that's how it works unless it's something else <laughs> Tracy, yeah, it's the enchanting experience, dude. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, dude, not too bad. We upgraded a little bit of our talismans. I mean, I might change this later on a little bit. Maybe when I get some more rares. After, like, level these guys up and probably the feather artifact. Now I'm gonna be doing that. Just place on a bunch of, um, chicken, like, minions now. Since I don't really need these guys anymore. So, yeah, I'm gonna be replacing all these guys. So, this is 13 minions. So I guess I can place on, like, 13 chickens. So that I can finish the collection in order for me to actually get the other artifact. The feather artifact and then maybe after that i'm probably gonna go for the nether war like the potion infinity artifact and then i'm pretty sure that's it and then maybe i'm gonna go and place some more like fish so that i can like gain some xp from it and then finish some of these collections well except for the lily pad i obviously if i want to get the healing ring up to uncommon i'm gonna have to go out and fish some more i haven't really been doing too much fishing <laughs> to be honest with you and then yeah getting the bait ring ink sacks so i need to go out there again fish it out sponge sea creature i can't and I think I'm pretty sure the fish minions can like fish up some sponges so I, I can like collect some of that for this and then test out the sponge armor. I'm sure that's it, right? Just those two artifacts. And I know there's also another artifact to, like for fishing. I forget what it was called. Make sure you get it when you're like at a high level against some of these guys. SCG, if you take a look, like these guys, like one of these is a hydro, whatever. You gain some other stuff from them once you kill them. Like this one, you get the like some sponge, lily pads, and all that. Yeah, some of these guys like grunt you some stuff and then the hydra possibly drops you like a talisman that i forgot it's like something for like fishing i guess i don't know what it was i think like a percentage of uh increasing sea creature spawn rate maybe i think 
I don't know. I need to do that. Upgrade all my other stuff. The talismans I need to be upgraded. Finish some of my collections in the fishing area. Yeah, I guess I can try and go for like the fishing artifacts for the high from the hydra that you can get, like the dive armor, test that out. I also want to let you guys know <laughs> that uh, I kind of noticed this. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but you see this uh, workbench right here? Might look familiar, dude. I mean, I don't know if you can get this from like other mods that you can get in Minecraft or not. Oh. Yeah, probably you can. Yeah, obviously you can. I don't know. I don't know what mod pack it could be. I never really messed around with like Minecraft mods where everything changes and you can go into survival and do all that type of stuff. I don't know if there is a mod that has like this type of workbench and all that. But uh, I don't know if you guys uh, realize this or not, but we've definitely seen this <laughs> workbench somewhere before. It's not only in Minecraft, but uh... It's also in Hytale, dude. You know, if you guys saw the trailer, there was a workbench just like this, sort of, in the mines that, that was in the trailer, and I think also in one of their, like, houses and all that. So, you know, Hypixel, man, they're implementing some stuff from Hytale. I guess everything in Skyblock on here, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as Hytale, sort of. So, yeah, we're also gonna have mana in Hytale. We're also gonna have, like, extra stuff on our gear and all that. And they're probably testing some stuff on here on Skyblock that they're gonna be implementing over on Hytale. So, I guess we're getting early gameplay of Haito here. <laughs> sort of, but not really. Also, this is just their own type of thing that they're doing. And, uh, yeah. But, I mean... I'm just saying, dude. Some of these other furniture is also... It's gonna be in a Hytale like the Scarecrow, man. I mean, yeah, you're, you're gonna be able to make Scarecrows over there in Hytale as well. I mean, I wouldn't be really surprised. And some of these chests also look familiar. Oh, yeah, and there's a Scarecrow right there. Who knows, dude? There's gonna be... This is probably how the enchantment table is gonna look like in Hytale. Who knows? Maybe. This is how the advanced crafting table is gonna look like, possibly. Sort of. I don't know. Maybe on this, that's the workbench that we were just given. That we just looked at. And then... Yeah, I forgot. One of these uh, little things looked like a chest from Hytale. So I think this one right here kind of looked like the treasure chest in one of the dungeons a little bit, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I guess there's... Eh, I don't know. I, I would say the Easter eggs or high toe on here. But at the same time, I don't know if it is. Yeah, Who knows, man? There's probably some Easter eggs around here that are going to be implemented in high toe or is from high toe. And we just don't know it. And some of those dragons did in the end. Maybe that's what the dragon names are going to be in high toe as well. Like the young dragon, the superior dragon, old dragon. Who knows, man? Who knows? Possibly, possibly. I'm just saying because... Uh, that workbench, dude. I was like, hmm. I, I like watched the trailer again. I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw that workbench somewhere. And uh, it was in the Hytale trailer. So there's definitely some stuff here that's going to be in Hytale for sure. So yeah. And, but anyways, dude. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to be making a silver fang possibly. And uh, yeah. Peace out.